Today I'm going to show you how I cut a set of sunglass lenses to custom fit into a favorite frame that I have. It used to be a set of uh, prescription glasses, pretty pricey Pradas, and I really wanted them to, uh, to be new sunglasses. So it's not like as a recovery diver that I don't have sunglasses. Some of them are actually really nice. But I really, you know, I really wanted these products, so I needed to pick a donor set. And strangely, these hideous risky business glasses had one of the better lens treatments on there. So I decided those would be the donor lenses. So let's go out in the shop and uh, see how this is going to happen. Now, these are the products with the original lenses still in there. And let's pop these lenses out of these hideous frames so we don't have to look at the frame anymore. And uh, we'll just set these aside. What we need to do now is we need to coat these with a protective tape. Uh, the grind process, obviously, is just going to send all kinds of material that could damage the surface of the lens. So the tape is to prevent that from happening. Just make sure you press it on real good so nothing can get underneath the tape. Once you get them both done, you're going to find it's, it's going to be easier to work with if you trim off the excess. And when you're finished, you should have a couple of lenses that look uh, something like this. So now let's pull these lenses out of the products. To pull lenses out, usually you're just going to press in the inner lens like I'm doing here. That pops them out. We're just going to use a ballpoint pen to trace the pattern. Now, if you're going to use the frames, you want to do the trace from behind. Fortunately, I had the luxury of pre-cut lenses. Definitely preferable for creating a pattern. So just hold, hold the lens firmly against the donor lens to draw your line. Now we've got a trace pattern on there. This is a clamp used for sheet metal. Now what I've done is just put furniture pads on there for added protection. And I'm only going to use this clamp while I'm doing this sort of heavy grinding, while I'm trying to get really close to the pattern line. Once I've done that, I prefer to hold the lens by hand while shaping it. And lenses have a 45 degree cut. We'll get to that in a little bit. We're using 80 grit for this process. I just found it's it's a good, it, it's a good uh, medium to use because it goes through the lens fairly quickly, but still gives you a little bit of uh, shaping ability. So let's get to work. At this point, I'm going to do the rest by hand. It makes it easier to pause once in a while, take the original lens and compare the two, make sure you're going in the right direction. And it's also easier to see where you need to remove additional materials. So I'm gonna skip over a lot of this, but you don't wanna bring it down to the correct size yet. You wanna leave it a little too large because remember we have to cut that 45 degree and when you do that, the lenses will get a little bit smaller. So right now, the lenses are a little bit too big to fit into the frame, and that's what you want. So now we're going to cut that 45 degree angle, so it'll snap into the frame nicely. Again, I'm going to skip over most of that, but you can see I'm holding the lens at an angle. I'm going to do that from both sides. And what that does is, as you can see, makes it a perfect fit. Let's try the other one. So there you have it. That is a good fit. So now we're going to peel the tape off and see how things look in the final state. Okay, well, here's the final product. So now I've got my product frames back in action, and I'm real happy with the way this project turned out. I hope it goes as well for you, and if you have a favorite set of frames that you want to make sunglasses out of, or if you want to share this video with somebody trying to do the same thing, that'd be great. Appreciate you guys watching, and I uh, hope you'll subscribe.